Welcome to the Midwest Manufacturing Alter Deck Installation Guide. Alter Deck composite decking is compatible with the T-clip fastening system. This includes both fusion and rustic solid decking. Some tools needed are a drill, tape measure, a miter saw or circular saw, a square, level, a rubber mallet, a 1 8 inch drill bit, a number 2 square drive bit, a number 1 square drive bit, AC2 approved 1 5 8 inch deck screws, and safety glasses. The first thing to decide is whether or not your alter deck will be running parallel or perpendicular to your structure's ledger board or if your deck will be freestanding. If the deck will be freestanding or perpendicular to the house, then a starter board must be fastened to the rim joist at one end of the deck as seen here. Pre-drill the starter board in the outer lip with an 8 inch drill every 8 inches and attach with 1 and 5 8 inch deck screws. If the deck will be parallel to your structure and the ledger board, then start by securing T-clips to the ledger along the house at every joist location. Then slide the first plank into place. At this point, all installation instructions are similar no matter how your deck boards run. Install T-clips along your starter board at every joist. Be careful not to sink the supplied screws too far into the T-clips. Notice that the T-clip will rock down on the side opposite the plank. This helps ensure a snap fit of the next plank put into place. Some force is required to fit the next board into place. A rubber mallet may be used, but be careful not to damage the side of the ultra deck because it may lead to possible installation issues and look unsightly. Avoid using excessive force when installing boards. Adjust the amount of torque used when installing the T-clips to ensure an easier fit. Continue installation by attaching T-clips and snapping planks into place. Check for square as you work your way across and make adjustments as needed. You'll find that if some of the T-clips have been over tightened, it will cause larger side gaps between the planks, which may cause your project to become out of square. When you come to the end of the deck, pre-drill the end board in the outer lip with an 8 inch drill every 8 inches and attach with 1 and 5 8 inch deck screws. If your deck ends before a full width plank can be attached, you may want to add a sister joist to the outer rim joist, or the last plank can be ripped to the correct width and attached similarly to a full width plank. If you choose to rip the last plank to width, you can finish your deck with rim joist cladding to give a finished appearance. Thanks for considering AlterDeck for your next project. AlterDeck is simple to install and will give you a professional looking deck for years to come. Thank you for choosing AlterDeck low maintenance composite decking and railing components.